Hey, good morning everyone and good Monday to every one of you anywhere you are on the globe. If it's evening, if it's afternoon, I'm Frank Valkyria. I'm your favorite Frank Valkyria. You know, Google, I don't know why you react. Don't react. Go silent, please. Okay? I didn't ask you to come on. So okay, then they say that the phone doesn't listen to you, huh? How about that? Anyway, let's continue. I was saying, if you... Uh, I forgot the point, actually. Where were we going? Ah, yes, I'm your favorite Frank Valkyria. Also because there's only one. So far, that you know, or that I know of. And anyway, let's dive straight into a nice reaction today. We done a bunch of reaction yesterday, uh, anticipating the America Got Talent stuff. And today, uh, many of you asked me to do the new video of Nightwish called Noise. So anyway, let's hope um, Google shut ups for a moment and let's go together. Let me see. Let's, are we doing this? We're doing this. Let's go. <laughs> Strange, scary bucket head that he takes a child onto a concrete slab and it puts uh, some kind of diver helmet of some kind of. Scary! I mean, right away, the usual, uh, the usual symphonic metal type of elements that we recognize. I mean, if you listen to this, to this genre, then of course the type of synth and the drum, the type of guitar and the sort of violin underneath uh, from the keyboard and all of that, uh, they're, they're prominent and they're also signature of this type of music. The video itself starts right away with uh, phones, tons of phones. More phones. Mona Lisa. Without a phone. I just watched an S walking past, uh, <laughs> like really this. <laughs> that was great. Oh man. Anyway, let's uh, let's concentrate concentrate for a moment. Um, I see that the team here, of course, has to do with our addiction to technology and cell phones, and probably, of course, the way they can uh, hinder our life. Um, yes, of course. This is a, a very um, sort of. Um, uh, hot team to describe in our society for the past 10 years because in the last 10 years we're, we're going through a phase that we've never been before like our dependency on gadgets and and technology in this way were it seems to become or potentially become more and more toxic especially for the younger audience um, but I, I let's continue then I'll tell you also what I think hey, that was a I like the guy, the keyboard player dressed in a sort of like environmentalist friendly guy uh, that still uses social media um, to, you know, convey a message and in this way probably showcasing also a type of ego, which I, I'm getting also from uh, th this type of video. You see the, the Instagrammer uh, dressed in purple here, a ruby purple. Um, like wanting to depict all those uh, new wave of uh, of models, women or whatever, which they you know like they they use Instagram 
um, as a source of income and uh, there is all kinds of stuff going on nowadays of all type of level you know of all type of level from like uh, more uh, uh, lifestyle oriented type of models to more like uh, um, pay on uh, on some mission or subscription monthly on other web services or whatever using Instagram as well of those models so there is all kinds of level there uh, and uh, yeah I mean we are all adults in this way so people can use in the whichever way they want uh, but um, our obsession with the curating ourselves and the ego involved obvious, obviously can lead to toxicity and misuse but at the same time you know like I give you an example of course I know that they're they're trying to convey a good message here in the video but at the same time um, uh, only portraying the negative aspect of social media and technology when even this video for instance like many other artists or anything anything that is spread through a message will rely on social media on Facebook on YouTube on Instagram clips to be shared in order to be publicized to get more viral to get more views to be commercial and therefore make money for the band allowing them to continue to do what they do so there is that aspect of it, but let's continue. Please love me, see how I bleed, please enjoy. I have such empathy in me. How nice, how beautifully numb, kept in the quiet air to have a meaning. By a carry on, said hologram, lost in the maze. The real and human feel the sun set us free from this deity. from the slumber of his dependency and now what no we're gonna eliminate him we cannot let somebody see the truth go about his business and perhaps divulge a new message um, yeah this also come across in the video I mean I'm liking the you know the intention uh, of um, uh, of uh, yeah uh, of uh, trying to see the darker effect of social media and technology but i'm also a moderate in the way that i think um, technology does save society it's just the way uh, we use it and now we have to implement it and we have to learn we have to learn how to use it better perhaps now we're going through this phase it's like you know every phase people go through like uh, handling a new toy and obviously we don't always use those new toys as in the best possible way uh, but then eventually after this phase of self curating and ego uh, and vanity perhaps we will emerge towards another phase where we learn how to use those things better there is also a lot of manipulation of course of companies and exploitation towards uh, targeting ads and all that kind of stuff that basically feeds people um, uh, whatever they are into indulging them in more of what they think they need or want uh, which is also negative because it, it sort of pushes you in the same loop of what you think you are in the moment or what you think you need in the moment of your life never stimulating you to get out of your own head basically which that could have very detrimental effect and I agree on that 
and that's perhaps that signifies also you know the kid with the uh, with the uh, with the helmet on that since birth is conditioned is conditioned through a series of you know of morality and need and so on and so forth and publicity what you gotta buy and how you have to look and all that kind of social you know stuff well it's always interesting to see a band that takes the time to try to convey such a complicated message even if here even if here sometimes is a little bit simplistic but not everyone manages to dive in right away with uh, with uh, a greater knowledge of what's going on so it also makes sense to dilute the message make it a little bit more palpable to make it like explanatory uh, in with you know this type of image of the, of the guy that uh, is selling stuff and the woman dying of her own vanity I don't know where you would place this song in terms of their catalog. I mean, if you take away the the more heavy sound of the guitars, uh, it's it's pretty much a, a pop song. You know what I mean? So the the structure is very much that of a pop song. Lyric verse, lyric verse is a little bit of a uh, uh, instrumental part in the middle, that unsettling part in the middle that led back to another chorus. So in this respect, uh, you know, those songs, they always use a similar format. And um, I don't know where it stands in terms of, um, you know, like, is it better or is it worse? That's also, I guess, subjective for people more uh, versed with, uh, with the band. I'm not that versed with the band. But um, to me, it seems a little bit more scream it almost reminded me of judas priest you know like rob alford going really high in his falsetto voice of course for judas priest her i think um i don't think it's falsetto for her probably it's uh, somewhere in the higher part of her range you know like she's a soprano or mezzo soprano i think she's a mezzo soprano uh, floor so probably you know touching uh, at the height of her of her uh, of range and for the video itself i like the video but i also don't like so much the videos where there is a, this mixture of cgi uh, and too much stuff clogged you know layering on on top of your face too close you know especially with this doubling of images and so on and so forth i'm not a super fan it feels a little bit too crowded and of course artificial because there's a lot of cgi and uh, uh sort of scene that stands on their own a little bit abstract as well and the man became old and aged and died that's scary but at least autumn leaves between trees somewhere more people see more kids somewhere in a beautiful nature and they weren't aware of it i think maybe this is the part that i like the best of the video that uh, we are trapped in a world of our own creation uh, we can be and we forget about the beauty that lies just at our feet surrounding us so if anything i take that as a message from this video and i give it a mega thumbs up anyway because you know i like to um, analyze and do critique but uh, that's uh, to an extent irrelevant because each song finds 
its own way. You know what I mean? So the the for me, uh, talking about it, talking about music and analyzing it comes from a desire also of learning as an artist myself, as a singer, as a you know I make videos and all of that learning. So it comes more from like de deconstructing it to understand it, so that that you perhaps from whatever artist you can always take emulate or and do your own thing. So in this way, so that's why I always um, uh, say this: you know, judgment is boring in the way that you think you're right about your opinion. It's, it's just a way of um, referencing and relating yourself to s what you're watching at the current knowledge that you have and if you have like a, uh, a number enough uh, stance towards those things you might be able to learn from things you like things you don't like and just keep growing so anyway i uh, hope you enjoy this reaction if you do please subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, you can also go check uh, my videos i posted a couple of days ago i will link it somewhere and i'll see you later did i say this yes and if I didn't, ciao.